Hi, I'm Dr Emma Carew, the Senior Community Manager at the Alan Turing Institute, and I'm going to talk to you about the writing process. This presentation has been adapted from a course developed by Dr Kirsty Whitaker for the Alan Turing Institute Data Study Group. Writing is often described as a process, but what does that actually mean? And what are the different steps in this process? As you can see from this figure, the writing process is not a linear process, and therefore the different stages of the process can happen in various orders at different points during your writing task. I will now go through each of these stages to describe what activities and techniques can be done. Pre-writing can help you find ideas, collect information, activate knowledge you have from your own experiences, and organise thoughts. It is important to think about ideas before starting to create any formal text. Techniques that you could use are brainstorming. This involves discussion with a peer or mentor and then recording these ideas in any informal manner such as a list or free writing, uh, which is another way to capture initial ideas. You can set a time limit and then just start to write down anything that comes to mind on a particular topic. It is meant to be messy and unplanned. Planning involves bringing some order or organisation to your ideas. This can be done in a number of ways, such as mind mapping or clustering, if you like to visualise your ideas, or you can move to a more formal style, such as writing lists, plans or outlines of what you are intending to write. Plans and outlines are good for bringing your ideas into a desired structure for your piece of writing and then for identifying gaps in the development of your ideas, arguments and sources of evidence. Drafting involves getting down your first words to start the writing. At this stage, it's not meant to be the finished piece of writing, but will be a very ugly version of it. And then you keep adding to it and editing. At this stage, it is good to reflect on your writing so far by stepping away and then coming back with fresh eyes. This will help you to make progress. You may have already done some redrafting yourself as reflecting and redrafting are important parts of the writing process. Then, once you have a draft you are happy to share, get a review from a peer or a tutor. Try to get this as early as possible as it can unblock your writing. The more eyes on your work, the better, as it brings a new perspective. Make sure you give clear instructions on what you want feedback on so it is most useful to you. When you have done your own redrafting and also redrafted from someone else's review comments, this is the time to revise the piece of writing in terms of specific wording, sentence structure and add the polish on the top. This is where you might pay special attention to the specific structure of the article for your journal that you're going to submit the work to. Some journals provide a template or clear instructions on how articles should be set out. During the revision stage, you might feel that you need to add additional research or ideas. So this means you might go back to drafting a whole new section of writing that then needs more editing, reviewing and redrafting. Once you are happy with the whole piece of writing, it is important to make sure that your writing is in the best possible state. This is another good time to get help from a colleague to do a final proofread for typos and grammatical errors. Something to note about this whole writing process is that the actual putting words on a page are only two parts of this process. And there are many other aspects of writing that are integral to getting it done. So remember, Pre-writing and planning are important first steps. Get feedback early on in the writing process, as this will save you time in the end. Images can be made at the beginning as part of the planning process, or could be done nearer the end in the finishing off and revision stage. You might also like to consider the structure of your writing, so having a template from a journal as part of your planning stage. 